In today's video, I'm gonna share my personal opinion about the Pedal Commander mod for your Tacoma. Now this is gonna be a very quick video because there are tons of other videos all over YouTube going into probably way more detail than you would ever imagine about the Pedal Commander. This is just gonna be my thoughts, my opinion, so of course, feel free to disagree. Why well, not concur? It should be a fun video, even though it's gonna be a quickie because the Pedal Commander is certainly one of those things people seem to either love or hate. You have chosen wisely. Now, some of you may recall, I recently did a video linked right up here where I go over things I will never buy for my Tacoma, and the Pedal Commander was on the list, and after watching that video, one of my subscribers reached out and asked if I wanted to borrow his Pedal Commander just to do a quick review and see what I thought about it. So, I mean, I can't envision any circumstance where I would say no to that. So, he shipped it out, I'm gonna test it out and let you guys know my honest opinion. In case you did not know, the pedal commander gives you the illusion of speed by messing with your throttle response when you hit the gas pedal. So there are tons of different configurations you can run with the pedal commander. I will be testing specifically the extreme eco setting, the plus four eco setting for like getting better gas mileage and the plus four, I think it's sport plus mode for obviously making your truck faster. Now it doesn't actually make your truck faster as far as horsepower or torque is concerned but it does make it faster in the fact that it shaves milliseconds or even maybe a second off of your throttle response when you mash that pedal. As you will see right now where I will demonstrate me flooring it from a standstill with a stock truck, the Eco Plus 4 max setting and the Sport Plus max setting. Here are all the settings you can see starting here on the upper left. You have Eco, then City, Sport, and Sport Plus. Obviously, Eco is gonna be what you want if you're going for the most gas mileage, and then it just goes up for performance, I guess. With City and Sport, I don't know, sort of weird settings in my opinion, sort of in no man's land. I would think if you are interested in getting a pedal commander, you're either gonna want it for the Eco mode or the Sport Plus mode. To talk about the Eco mode real quick, I found on the maximum eco setting, so plus four eco, it is practically worthless if you live in an area that has any kind of traffic. Driving in that mode, you are gonna have people right on your rear bumper in no time because it is super sluggish. Of course, yes, that's gonna help you control those RPMs and maybe squeeze out an extra mile or two per gallon, but it just didn't seem feasible. I live in Northern Virginia, sort of near Washington, DC, and Around here, there's no way I could actually use this and get away with it without getting run off the road, creating all kinds of road rage incidents. Maybe on highway trips or if you live in a more rural area. And as far as the Sport Plus mode on the Plus 4 setting, I was actually pleasantly surprised with the response. It is super quick. It made my Tacoma actually feel like if I've driven my truck for like a few weeks and haven't driven any other vehicle, it reminded me of the feeling I can get when I take that first drive in pretty much any other car. It just feels like quick off its feet even if it's not a sports car just because the Tacoma is relatively sluggish anyway and of course with all the weight I've added so that's what sport plus mode reminded me of again not giving you any horsepower but the throttle response on this is definitely fast as you could probably tell from the little clip I did launching from a standstill flooring it earlier in the video that is definitely going to eat up your gas mileage and like maybe eco might give you plus one or two sport plus on the max setting probably at least cost you two or three miles per gallon. I played around with the city on the lowest setting, so hopefully I did that correctly, meaning that was the most economical version of the city setting, trying to squeeze out some gas mileage. I did that for a full tank with the truck, drove around, and I didn't really notice any increase or decrease because I drive my truck like an old man anyway, and all the city on the maximum efficiency setting, it felt like all it really did was sort of limit me and make it hover around 1500 RPMs, which really isn't that hard to do. Again, if you drive like an old man like me, just with a light foot anyway. But if you have a heavy foot, that might be something to consider if you want to try to squeeze out an extra mile or two per gallon. And dealing with the city mode on the maximum efficiency setting, it was bearable driving around the truck in traffic. 
Now the pedal commander, it is $300 usually at full price, but there always seems to be some kind of $30 coupon going around that you can take advantage of. I'll put a link for this down in the description below in case you are interested in picking one up. Is it worth it in my opinion at that $300 price tag or even 270? I would say no, it doesn't seem like it's worth it in my opinion. Again, that's just my opinion. Feel free to comment below and agree or disagree. If this was maybe half price, I could see going for it because it was fun to have that quick throttle response on the maximum setting. Just for the week or so, I did have this pedal commander. I can't see myself actually going out and buying one. That seems like a lot of money I could put to other use on the Tacoma build. All right, everybody, that will do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, if you have a pedal commander or are thinking about getting a pedal commander for your Tacoma or any other type of vehicle, comment below, let me know your thoughts. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video.